Hi folks, how are you doing today? My name is Colin Fraser. I'm going to start off with the prep, set, and go checklist. This is the very first video in our checklist and we're going to talk or demonstrate how to download your template purchase. Um, I'm breaking the video up into four sections, download, extract, install, and test. For the rest of the video series, we're going to do a complete demonstration from start to finish. However, many of you have probably already downloaded and extracted your template, so we don't need to run you through that again. So let's start off with downloading the template. Let's go to our members page. If you click on the link that's in the tutorials, it'll take you there, or just go to my.i3dthemes.com and it will take you to the login page. Your login ID and password, this information was sent to you via email. It's also the same information that was used to purchase your template. So enter your login ID and password, then click on the login button. I'm going to do that now and I'll join you on the next page. Excellent. Now on the next page, this is our main members landing page. We'll see our purchases. Here's a template I've purchased and I have a download button. So I'm just going to click the download button. And on the next page, I'm going to click on the web template tab, then the download tab. Go through and read the uh, conditions, the license agreement and the refund policy, always a good idea. And once you've done that and agree to it, just click on the little boxes, like so, or click on the link and scroll on down. Now we have our download package section. Over here it tells you which type of package you have, a pro web, a standard, or a basic. And you can now select an editor type because you can actually download your package for Dreamweaver or for SharePoint Designer or for Expression Web 4. We can package them differently for different editors. So if I were to choose Expression Web 4, I can now select a different format as well because we also have it in HTML5 or in XHTML or good old fashioned HTML4. I suggest sticking with HTML5, it's the future. Now, point of note, if you're working with Expression Web 4, make sure you update it with the Microsoft Service Pack 1 and Service Pack 2. We also have those links on the tutorial page. Click them, go to the Microsoft site, download the update, uh, update your software, and then you'll be able to see the HTML5 and the design window of the web page much better. All right, with that said and done, click your download button. And what's going to happen is the system is going to start assembling your package. Depending on how many add-ons you have and what type of package you have will depend on how long it takes. Typically, 15 to 20 seconds is all it takes to put the package together. If you have Numo add-ons, shopping cart, newsletter, blog, it could take two to three minutes. Once the package is assembled, you see the little check mark, and then we'll go to our desktop and we'll find a zip file of our website. Now I've set up my browser to automatically download all files from the internet and put them on my desktop. With your browser it's quite possible it's in your downloads folder or wherever you've set it to be. So you'll need to know where files are downloaded on your computer in order to find the web template file. And Once you've found that, I'm going to suggest you move it or drag it to your desktop, extract it, install it, and work on it there, at least to start with. The reason being is many of the tutorials, you'll probably want to mirror things up as best as you can. And I'm actually going to be building a website on my computer's desktop. So the things that I do and you see will make a lot more sense to you if you're actually building your site on a folder from your desktop as well, instead of some other location buried deep within your computer and you can't find it. So that's it for this video. We're going to move on to extracting uh, and that'll be just a quick video and then the rest will also be a lot shorter than this one. So thanks very much.